so we are here doing the architect thanksgiving event with me the warrior cotp and soap goddess she is the head oh yeah she is the head of the architects for xbox uh and basically we do events and this is the thanksgiving event and um uh, basically how this works is we build the events and uh i built uh uh, majority of the village of the, these houses that you guys see she did all the interior and it looks really good um, there she is down in the village yeah now I'm going to turn this over to her mainly because she did the interior so she would know what to call each uh, house or how she would do it or how she did it so she's probably going to do the most talking and we can start wherever you want to start so it don't matter I'm just following you down these stairs which soap I think I'm in the wrong house. <laughs> oh, my bad. Get out of that well um, when I was building that well. Um, I didn't know what that was going to be, and it just ended up looking like really weird. So we did it like almost like a little like magic well or wishing well. Oh, yeah. Now, if you guys also notice, like, how you got, like, stairs going up, like, right here. Um, this whole village was planned out on this hill. So, we had to basically work the village on the hill. So, that's 
like the way you see it, we had to build it. Yeah, that was probably me, my bad. Mm -hmm. Looks awesome. There's the John. Oh, really? <laughs> That's funny. Something to read while you're dropping a deuce. Yeah, and the, probably the most difficult thing about doing this village is I didn't want to just make a typical Viking village where um, every build just looked alike. And it's not your typical Viking village per se either. It's uh, more of a fantasy Viking village. Uh, and I tried to make every build a little different. So it was kind of hard to come up with back-to-back. Uh, -back. I think it's, what, 26 houses in the whole village? But it's, yeah, we'll, we'll count them, but it's around that. And it's, it comes hard to make every structure. Like, this is probably your basic Viking structure right here, uh, from what I saw. This is, like, your basic Viking structure. Like a slice of pie, and if you ask me, that's just kind of boring. We made a whole village that looked like a bunch of slices of pie, which you did an awesome job on this. Awesome. I love how you incorporated that bed and didn't even try to make a roof on it, even at the only one. Oh man. Mm hmm. Like how you did uh, the benches all the way across like that. 
Look really good. <laughs> now this church um, when I was building it um, I got some slack uh, on how I built this church because supposedly this looks nothing like how a Viking church would be built I tried to go for like a almost like a medieval what I thought that would be like a Viking church. Um, but I personally thought it turned out pretty good. Um, uh huh. <laughs> now you did a really good job on this I'll tell you what I've done in probably about uh, three or four church builds and this looks really good I like it Oh, the um, the green the greenhouse uh, windows. Yeah, that's a um, shoot. That's an old trick I first saw, uh, which I did a village back in the day, and I did Aaron Longstaff's medieval church, and that's a trick I learned uh, from him on uh, that. And yep. Yeah, but I picked up that uh, I picked up that trick from uh, that medieval church, and I'll tell you what, I use that on a lot of uh, my more quote unquote majestic builds as windows. I remember building this one. Um, I think this is one of literally the last builds I built for this whole village. I came back over to here and, and I think I, uh, this is like where I was really, really running out of ideas for a uh, build. a smart decision that you can add just a real for one. Yeah. yeah, what are you at the stable? Yeah, this 
is not stable. Oh wait, no, over here is the stable. No. And when I did this build, um, I, she pretty much added all this stuff. She turned it into a stable. Like when I when I did a lot of these builds, she went through and she was like, "Oh, th I'm going to make this one into a tavern. I'm going to do this one with this one, blah blah blah." She had some ideas for everything, but uh, yeah, she the I pretty much did the outer outer shell. She came in here and came up with ideas for all this stuff. And I'll tell you what, the idea that she did in here and came in and did is looks really good. Uh, especially the way this was just left because this entrance is what it was it was basically uh, a wide open build left open and it was a great idea for this yeah. yeah nice yeah, that's a that's a that was a good idea, and honestly, this is this is one of those builds uh, I did that I thought was really cool looking. But it even has an upstairs, uh, but there wasn't that much space to do anything. And if anybody knows about doing these roofs, it leaves you with that little bit of space. So it looked cool, but uh, still, what you did with it was still awesome. Yeah. Yep, just like this build right here. Looks very cool from the outside. But, um, leaves you with very little room inside to do much. Yeah, that's what I this one up here. Yeah, now I came in, I did, I pretty much uh, made this into a stable, came in, did this, but uh, it uh, turned out pretty cool. Oh, the stair, you know what? I didn't, I left that I did that on purpose. Look, basically, if you close it like that and leave that open, I've made that like a loft almost, almost like up here. I actually did that on purpose, but uh, you're right. Uh, a pair of stairs could be used right there. Yeah, this is not your ideal Viking village, that's for sure. <laughs> it's more or less fantasy. that little cross I implemented on the back of that church. Yeah, I sat there for a little bit trying to figure out how to do that. Your pipes. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, that was a good idea, though. I'm, trust me, I'm going to end up stealing that. Oh yeah, this one, you gotta go in through this back way. Bless you.
Yeah, I remember I had to uh, come back up here and put this roof back on. Uh, you had to start over on this uh, once. Yep. Which just turned out really cool. I thought, it, you know, it was a great uh, way to have a teleporter right there. Which, speaking of which, you guys showed me how to do those uh, spiral stairs again because uh, I forgot how you showed me how to do them. But I did come up with my own way on a different circle pattern uh, that I do. And I figured out how to do something similar to that as stairs, though. So that was pretty cool. I pretty much used that idea uh, to make them. I remember after I built this one, it was, uh, this was the second, we did this half over here first, and then I came over here and I started on this half, and then I was throwing like some builds, like that build right there, and uh, a couple builds on that outer edge over there uh, at the end, but this was the second half, and like I said, it was less trying to get different style builds just uh became um i don't know it was fun i'm not gonna act like one fun but uh yeah it was uh definitely a, ch a challenge yeah
But yeah, definitely a uh, cool armory. Yeah, you're, this is like, I almost did like a modern day, like, log cabin with a porch on this one. Uh, turned into a Viking house. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, blacksmith shops, those are always something I've had fun uh, making. Oh, yeah. Actually, this is Aaron Longstaff Will. Yes, and uh, so, and Fire Pumpkin, uh, when I was doing, wanted to do some wells, she was like, well, hey, Aaron has some wells. Why don't you uh, look them up? He has this style well. Then he has the square style well, which is out in front of a different build that we're about to go see in a few. Uh, so you'll see both style welds and you can go to Aaron Longstaff's channel and uh, figure out how to make them. Which, uh, this part right here uh, with that uh, ceiling, that's the only way I could keep this up. And I couldn't get it the way uh, he had it in his video. Every time I took away that, like the whole roof would just pretty much disappear. So I just decided to say screw it and kept it the way it was. Yep. This one turned out really good. Hell yeah. The people gotta remember there's so many events done on this map. There's a lot of build up. Yeah, this looks really good. You did really good on this decor. Yes, I do. You know what's funny? When the uh, other day when I saw that you got all this decor done when I hopped on, uh, I literally went into like two or three different places and I literally tried not to like look at stuff too well or too much because I wanted to be more have a genuine response when we went through them. But uh, yeah, you've, you've done a really good job on these. And, and this is another thing. I want y'all in the comments to beg so to do some of my other uh, 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 decors of my builds in the future because fire I you know she done a couple of mine in the past and she just don't have the time and I know soap don't have much time because she does all this other stuff but I'd love to get her involved in some of my other like uh, big builds like my castle builds and stuff in the future
trying to get an up top view, trying to figure out. Oh yeah, I remember this one. Mm-hmm. Oh, it looks good. It's crazy there, man. Yeah, the tavern. And, you know, it's funny. If you look here, this almost looks like... Um, I know it's not there, but it almost looks like a cellar way right here. Yeah, so this is the tavern. After I made this, uh, Soap was like, saw it and said, this is going to be the tavern. There you go. And like I said, I uh, purposely, once I saw how much, uh, how pretty much it was done I did not come into some of these because I wanted to see uh, how these looked uh, you know when she was actually around to get a good reaction and this is something I do a lot with the uh, uh, yeah the water reservoirs as tables yeah it's a good uh, effect oh yeah Well, I guess this is like the office upstairs. Like an inn. That's awesome. Awesome, you did a great job. And then he has, I guess, this is for the owner if he just wants to. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's <laughs> yeah, that turned out really good. Now, which is the other way out? Yeah, I tried to utilize uh, the upstairs because I, honestly, I hate it when you do a build and you just got an upstairs that you can't even get to. So I, even if it was a little bit of room, I, I, tr I try to make it a, a way to get up there. And I don't. Yeah, yeah, I, I was wondering what we were going to do with this. Yeah, you just make it a call to garage. The Viking garage, you know. Yeah, this is one of my favorites too. And this is the other Aaron Longstaff well, like an octagon well.
Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, when it, I'll tell you when I when I made this house, I was especially when I made this area down here going down. Um, I was I was uh, wondering how you were going to end up making uh, everything into, it, and this was definitely a uh, good thought. And I like how the the grass is actually coming out down here. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah, you've done a great job on this. Like I, I know for sure I wouldn't have had the interior looking like this for sure. Appreciate you doing it. the snow. Hats off to guys for figuring out all the interior, which uh, most builders will tell you they do not like doing, but luckily there is people that enjoy doing it and uh, do a great job at it. Well, um... Yeah, I think uh, the last thing to probably talk about is that fence going all the way around it. We wanted to 
Uh, we had the fence pretty much all the way around it. And then we decided to uh, take it down. So we took it down probably about uh, three quarters of the way. And then, uh, I don't know, we just couldn't figure out something that we really wanted. So uh, on a time crunch, uh, which we had plenty of time, uh, but we ended up just uh, sticking with that fence. I ended up going around it. It wasn't all that bad, but it uh, we could have probably done something a little bit better. It kind of goes with the build, though, a little bit. village exactly yeah yeah it's more of a peasant fence <laughs> it's a, yeah it's not like a royal fence or something yeah Yeah, and uh, not only that, it's like, you know, if, if anybody's part of any uh, YouTube uh, art Facebook groups, uh, when you go on there, a lot of times people will be like, oh, I made a village, and uh, whatever the village might be, it's always like the same build next to each other. And it's like, oh, wow, you know what I mean? It's like, it's kind of laughable to me. Honestly, that's like we didn't have to do the interior, but we wanted to actually make it an experience for the people that actually came in here if they wanted to take the time before or after the event to travel through the video or the, uh, the video, the village, and uh, check out all the cool different, um, you know, uh, houses. They, they wanted something. Uh, you know, just give people a little bit of extra.
Yeah, official's definitely uh, one of those things when you end up leaving it and yeah, exactly. It's uh, it eats up all your time. Yeah, that's another thing, uh, a lot of these, um, and you can also build a lot different uh, on unofficial servers uh, than on official servers, especially when people have like the, the snap things, uh, uh, what is it called? Yeah, yeah. And if you're a good builder uh, and you feel like being part of the build team, you know, it's not like you just got to have like some kind of name or clout, you know, everyone's welcome to try out for the architects team to bring uh, whatever they have that they can bring to the table, uh, you know, to show us. got a village here with about 26 builds it was for the Thanksgiving event for architects and uh, done by me and uh, soap guys here um, check out our channel check out my channel if you guys uh, stumble across uh, you know this video for the first time we got other videos uh, we have other projects down the road um, 
and thanks for watching hit that like button subscribe you all have a good one Yeah, just about.